this video, I'm going to be going over how to create a PDF out of images locally on your Mac. Let's get started. So first of all, what you want to do is get your five images in one spot. So I have all five of them right here on my desktop. Now, once you have your images, select them, um, just drag and click and select, and now double tap. Okay, so just open them all up. Now, sometimes if you have a lot of images, it may not open all of them at the same time. It might open them in two separate windows. If that happens, just close it out and double tap again and just double click until all of them open at the same time. Now, once you have all the images opened, what you want to do is on the top, click on file and go down to where it says print and select it. Once you've selected it, you're going to get this screen. Sometimes it may look like this, and if this is how it looks for you, then click show details for you to see all of these different options. Now notice that on the left side, the images are portrait, right? This is the preview and it's showing me that it's portrait. Now I want my images to be landscape. So what I'm gonna do is uh, where it says orientation, I'm gonna click landscape. And for me, this is exactly how I want it to look. So this is fine. You can mess around with the other settings if you want, but this is exactly how I want it. Now, once you've done this, it says PDF at the bottom, click on that arrow and click save as PDF. Now you can save it as whatever you want. I wanna call it, um, nature pictures and it's important that you add the dot pdf so you can name it whatever you want but just put dot pdf after it now save it wherever you want i want to save it to my desktop and just click save now once it's created you can close it out and it should be saved as what you named it and as you can see it says nature pictures dot pdf so let's open it up and make sure everything is there. Yep, it is. All five pictures are created into a PDF. And that's how you create a PDF out of pictures locally on your Mac. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching.